my father Liam w would have been involved heavily in racing. He would have uh, had lots of horses, uh, winners, and he was highly interested in, in that aspect of it for years. Initially, we would have had a lot of point to pointers, and we, we would have um, ran them in point to points and on the track, and then s sell them on. And we would have had a lot of store horses and stuff. But we, uh, it's mainly breeding now. I, I, I transferred, we transferred into breeding about 20 years ago and put all the concentration on that. Bullet training, he is kind of the last Saddler's Wells opportunity for breeders to have here in Ireland. You know, he's the youngest one of them. So it's, I think people are, should take advantage of that in a way because you know, you won't ever get it again it's as close. It's now gone on to the Galileo strain a lot. He's a three-quarter brother to Frankel and Noble Mission. Um, they're both, he's out uh, that wonderful mare kind, and he's just an unbelievable pedigree. Frankel is one of the highest rated horses in racing. He was an absolute superstar. And um, Bullet Train took part in a lot of his races and had, everyone will remember how an important role Bullet Train had with Frankel. He's, uh, oh, he's a fine specimen of a horse. He's big, scopy, he's the right colour. You know, he's, he's a presence about him. You know, he's a presence of greatness about him when you, when you see him. You know, it's unmistakable, you know. Everyone that comes in is mad about him when they see him. And, you know, he's, he's just a gorgeous horse, yeah. He'd be a dual purpose star because he, he's proven it. He is now the star of group and listed winners. He had a, a, a group two winner in October. So that was a big success for him. Some of his horses are very, very big, uh, off flat mares, very, very big, you know, and it's, um, it's an important factor for racing here in Ireland now. It's, it's all big. He's an unbelievable temperament. You can do what you like with him. Uh, you can park him anywhere. He won't get upset, you know, he's bomb proof. And I think he's passing the hand to his young stock as well. They're all cool headed, lovely temperaments as well. I'm, I'm delighted with the way things are working out. Have, some have made b huge money in different countries around the world. I'd like to see Bullet Train become a top national hunt stallion, really, and he, I think he has all the qualities to do that. He's already proven that he can do it everywhere else around the world. He's 141 individual winners and uh, under all conditions, like um, he's over fences. So he's already proven to be black type and able to produce group winners. So I, I'd like to think in the future we, we will have that here as well you know I'm a believer in having good mares you know I, I, I would like to pick my mares if I could I would like I would sooner sisters to black type or grade one winners or dams are grade one winners and so that would be my preference um, he's 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 been supported by some good people they, they, they are very happy with their stock actually a lot of them are retaining them they're ha so happy with them you know and um, couldn't ask for more like you know, you're always looking out for the, the next superstar or next stallion that has potential and no one knows where he'll come out of but I think the most important thing is bloodline. Mm -hmm.